Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about how to use the lathe to drill a hole in the end of our stock using our tail stock and the, the, um, the drill chuck over here. A couple things worth mentioning. If I were to just clamp this up and start drilling, that drill is going to wobble around and find a home, um, and it may not be concentric with the center that I have here. So, and that's just because this drill has a little bit of wobble to it, um, and it will just kind of find a natural spot. <clears throat> so to prevent that, we use a short stubby drill bit, and these guys are called center drills. We chuck them up, and by doing that, they don't have a whole lot of wobble to them. So go ahead and tighten that up in the ch drill chuck bring this guy over and then lock it down, lock that tail stock in place. And <clears throat> generally we can have the RPMs, uh, if you want to look up drill uh, feeds and speeds on uh, how fast it should be spinning based on the type of material and whatnot. But in our case, I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to spin it about 300 RPMs to drill this hole. So let's get going on drilling that hole and that's not the greatest camera shot here, so just give me a second. So with the tail stock locked down, I've got a nice image here of the uh, drill being done. We obviously turn it so that it's turning forward and just make sure that this is loose and we're able to advance this slowly in here by drilling. A little cutting fluid is never a bad idea. Grab some cutting fluid, just put it on the tip of that drill bit there, and we'll just advance it forward slowly. And there we go. Here, I'm just going to get it so that that tip of the center drill is buried inside there, and I'm starting to get it onto the chamfer area. It's got a 60 degree chamfer to it. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty decent. So I'll back this off, and we should be in good shape here. I've got a nice center drill that should be fairly concentric um, with the center of the material. So that's our first step in a drilling operation. The second step is then to chase that with a drill bit. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen up the tailstock, slide it back, and put in our long drill bit. In this case, I've grabbed a 5 16 drill bit, and I could use this to drill and tap uh, or to for a um, 3 8 16 thread size, 3 8 inch bolt, 16 threads per inch. So again, get that lined up. So it's just starting with the work. And we can verify the, the depth of drill by using the gauge on the quill here. It may be a little bit harder to see in that image, but sometimes I'll get this started at a nice round number, like I've got it set to one inch. So if I'm trying to get the <clears throat> drill to a certain depth, oftentimes I'll start the quill at an exact one inch mark. Then I'll slide the entire works over so that it's uh, touching the stock tighten it down, and then I'm able to use that mark as my indicator while I'm drilling. So I can advance this and say I need to drill this to a one inch depth. Just go ahead and fire this up. And again, cutting fluid is a marvelous thing to extend drill life. And we could just go ahead and drill this out. And I'll be watching that to make sure that I get my depth of one inch. And it may require a little bit of forwards and backwards, again, more cutting fluid. So right now I'm at a depth of 3 16 half inch. And it's, like I said, it's always a good idea to, especially the deeper the hole, 
to go in and out, apply a little bit more cutting fluid just to make sure that we're getting a nice um, cutting action and the drill bit isn't overheating. Right now I'm at three quarter, seven eighths, and pretty soon there's my two inch mark indicating that this should be a hole that is at a depth of one inch and I can retract it and we're in great shape. We've just drilled a hole uh, 5 16 inch diameter, one inch deep in the stock. So that's uh, the basics of using the drill and it's very important that when using the drill to make sure that the hole is as concentric as possible, start with a center drill, then chase it with the longer drill bit and you can check your depth by using the uh, scale that's mounted here on this drill key, or uh, sorry, the, the tailstock quill. So there you go.